In the vast unknown of the cosmos, there exists an elusive phenomenon that we often overlook, yet it stealthily infiltrates our lives, affecting our spiritual well-being. This foe is not physical, nor can it be seen or touched. It operates in the shadows, silently gnawing away at the foundations of our spiritual strength. This adversary, my friends, is known as a spiritual attack. More often than not, the concept of a spiritual attack is shrouded in mystique and mystery, making it even more challenging for us to comprehend its gravity and tackle its implications. Consider the gentle erosion of a rock face by the sea. You might not notice the changes every day, but over time, the relentless waves reshape the rock completely. Similarly, spiritual attacks can subtly manifest in various aspects of our daily lives causing a gradual yet profound change in our spiritual attitudes and practices. It's a slow burning process, like a candle melting away into nothingness, often resulting in a loss of interest towards spiritual matters. The vibrancy of the soul starts fading, replaced by a growing sense of apathy that envelops the spirit like a dense fog, obscuring the path to enlightenment. You see, the ultimate goal of these attacks is far from trivial, their objective is to sever the soul's bond with the universe. This bond, this connection, is like the soul's umbilical cord, feeding it with the life-sustaining energy of the cosmos. When this link is weakened, the soul becomes vulnerable, like a child separated from its mother. As our spiritual defenses start to crumble, we become susceptible to the adverse influences and negative energies that threaten to destabilize our spiritual equilibrium. Imagine a fortress standing tall and impregnable. Its defenses are robust, its walls unbreachable. Now, what happens if its foundation starts to erode gradually? The fortress, in all its might, becomes a mere shell of its former glory, crumbling under its weight. That is precisely what happens when spiritual attacks weaken our spiritual fortress from within, leaving our soul defenseless and susceptible. But how does one identify these attacks? It's a question that often plagues our minds, isn't it? You see, the signs are there. They're just not as apparent as we'd like them to be. They intertwine with our lives so subtly that we often mistake them for mere inconveniences, ignoring the underlying spiritual implications. Like a coded message waiting to be deciphered, the signs of a spiritual attack lie hidden in our daily routines, waiting for us to uncover their mysteries and address their implications. The spiritual realm is as vast and intricate as the universe itself. It's a realm where energies collide, where the soul dances with the cosmos in an eternal ballet of spiritual harmony. But when a spiritual attack intrudes upon this harmony, it's akin to a discordant note piercing through the tranquil melody of a beautiful orchestral piece. It disrupts the rhythm, the flow, the peace. And just like that discordant note, a spiritual attack sends ripples through our spiritual realm, causing a gradual loss of interest in the very spiritual matters that once invigorated us, resulting in a growing sense of apathy that threatens to engulf our spiritual identity. In essence, spiritual attacks are cleverly disguised battles for our soul, aiming to weaken our spiritual bond with the universe, making us more vulnerable to negative energies. But remember, my friends, while spiritual attacks can be subtle and elusive, their signs are often right in front of us, intertwined with our daily lives. We need not fear them, for understanding these attacks is the first step towards combating them, towards reclaiming our spiritual strength and fortifying our soul's bond with the universe. The question is, will you make that first step? So, how do we decipher these subtle signs of a spiritual attack? An interesting question, indeed. You see, much like the mysterious fluctuations of the financial market, spiritual attacks can lead to natural fluctuations in our well-being. Have you ever experienced sudden financial instability, despite being diligent with your finances? It's like an unexpected storm disrupting the calm waters of a serene lake, casting ripples across its surface, leaving you questioning what went wrong. These attacks operate in such a stealthy manner, interweaving themselves into the fabric of our daily lives that we often overlook the spiritual implications of these inexplicable changes. It's like an unseen hand, causing disruptions and turbulence in our well-being. Look closely. These fluctuations are not merely random occurrences. 
They're signs of an ongoing spiritual battle, manifesting themselves in our physical realm as financial instability. However, the signs do not stop there. Have you ever felt physically drained, despite getting ample rest? Ever wondered why your body feels heavy, your movements lethargic, seeping away your energy and enthusiasm like a leech? This persistent fatigue, my friends, is another sign of a spiritual attack. It's not just the fatigue you experience after a tough day at work or the tiredness after a strenuous workout. It's a kind of fatigue that penetrates deep into your body and soul, leaving you feeling empty and exhausted, like a candle burning at both ends. You see, this fatigue is more than just physical tiredness. It's like an invisible chain, binding us, draining our energy, and preventing us from engaging in our daily spiritual practices. Have you ever felt too tired to meditate, too drained to pray, too weary to connect with the universe? This fatigue is a tool of the spiritual attack, a method to disrupt our spiritual practices, to weaken our spiritual defenses, further leaving our soul vulnerable. Let's delve deeper. Have you noticed a weakened prayer life? Perhaps you've lost the zeal for prayer, or you feel a disconnect when you attempt to communicate with the universe. A weakened prayer life is akin to a broken antenna, unable to catch the signals, unable to connect with the divine. It's another sign of a spiritual attack, an attempt to sever our communication with the universe, to isolate us from the cosmic energy that feeds our soul. But how does this happen? How can something as grounding and empowering as prayer become weak? The answer lies in the disruptive influence of spiritual attacks. They gradually infiltrate our spiritual routine, diminishing the vigor of our prayers, replacing the fervor with a sense of hollowness. It's like speaking into a void, with our words and sentiments echoing back at us, leaving us feeling more isolated than connected. The consequences of spiritual attacks are far-reaching, extending beyond our spiritual lives and seeping into our physical realm. They affect our well-being, causing financial instability. They drain our energy, leading to persistent physical fatigue. They disrupt our spiritual practices, resulting in a weakened prayer life. These signs, however subtle, are a call to action, a plea for us to rise, to fight, to reclaim our spiritual strength. Remember, acknowledging these signs is the first step towards combating spiritual attacks. It's the first move in the spiritual chessboard, setting the stage for the battle. Now, armed with this awareness, we are better prepared to tackle these spiritual attacks, to defend our soul, to protect our spiritual bond with the universe. And as we navigate this spiritual battlefield, let us remember, it's not just about surviving the attack. It's about emerging victorious, about reclaiming our spiritual strength, and reinforcing our soul's bond with the universe. So, are you ready to take the next step? Beyond the physical manifestations, spiritual attacks also leave emotional footprints. A persistent fog of fear, anxiety, and confusion often shroud the mind, obstructing clarity and judgment. You may feel like you're walking in a dense fog, unable to see the path ahead, with every step bringing a new wave of uncertainty. This fog is not an ordinary one. It is a fog of fear, anxiety, and confusion the emotional manifestations of a spiritual attack. You see, spiritual attacks are not just about weakening our physical strength or disrupting our spiritual routine. They go a step further. They invade our emotional realm, instilling fear, stirring anxiety, and sowing seeds of confusion. It's as if we're lost in a labyrinth, with every turn leading to a dead end, every attempt to escape only tightening the grip of this emotional turmoil. Furthermore, you may notice old habits, lifestyles, or behaviors resurfacing, disrupting your spiritual growth. Have you ever found yourself falling back to old patterns, despite your best efforts to break free? It's like climbing a steep hill, only to slide back down, time and again. These aren't just mere moments of weakness or lack of willpower. It's a strategic move of the spiritual attack, an attempt to push you back into the old, to hinder your spiritual growth to stop you from moving forward. Remember, growth is the essence of a spiritual journey. As we shed our old selves to embrace the new, we grow, we evolve. However, 
the resurgence of old habits and lifestyles can stall this growth. It's like a stubborn weed, sprouting amidst a bed of beautiful roses, threatening to choke their growth. It's a deceptive move of the spiritual attack, aimed at causing regression in our spiritual evolution. In addition to this, spiritual attacks can also result in withdrawal from universal relationships and spiritual fellowship. Ever felt an urge to withdraw, to isolate, to detach from the spiritual connections that once brought you joy and peace. This withdrawal is not just a desire for solitude or a momentary lapse in social interest. It's a sign of a spiritual attack, an attempt to isolate you, to cut you off from the harmonious vibrations of the universe. These universal relationships and spiritual fellowships are not just social interactions. They are the lifelines of our spiritual existence. They connect us with the higher powers, make us a part of the universal consciousness, and nourish our souls. But a spiritual attack seeks to sever these ties, to break these spiritual bonds, to leave us feeling lost and disconnected in the vast expanse of the universe. The emotional manifestations of spiritual attacks are indeed frightening. The fog of fear and anxiety, the confusion that blurs our judgment, the resurgence of old habits hindering our growth, and the withdrawal from spiritual fellowship, all these are crafty tactics of the spiritual attack. But remember, these are just attempts to weaken us, to veer us off our spiritual path. They are not our fate. We are not helpless victims of these attacks. We are powerful beings capable of overcoming these challenges. Understanding these signs is the first step towards liberation. Once we recognize these signs, we can begin to break free from the clutches of these spiritual attacks. We can rise above the fear and confusion, break the chains of old habits, and reconnect with the universe. It's a journey of liberation, a journey towards reclaiming our spiritual prowess. And with every step we take, we grow stronger, more resilient, ready to face any spiritual attacks that come our way. This is where the true essence of our spiritual journey comes into play. You see, the chosen ones of the universe, those who are consciously walking the spiritual path, carry within them an incredible potential. It's like a hidden treasure chest, filled with the boundless energy of the universe, waiting to be tapped into at the right moment. And during a spiritual attack, that moment arrives. When you find yourself caught in the crossfire of spiritual warfare, remember this boundless energy within you. Tap into it. Use it as your shield, your weapon, your anchor. This energy is not just a dormant force. It's a dynamic power, highly potent and capable of countering any spiritual attack. It's like a hidden well of elixir, capable of healing, restoring, and rejuvenating. Seeking divine intervention during these moments of spiritual attacks is another powerful way to overcome them. Call upon the higher powers, the universe, the divine source, whatever resonates with your belief system. Ask for guidance, protection, and strength. This is not a sign of weakness or desperation. Rather, it's a testament to your faith, your trust in the cosmic powers. The universe is always ready to guide us, to protect us, to shower us with its endless blessings. However, during spiritual attacks, we often forget this divine connection. It's like standing in a rainstorm, yet feeling thirsty. The universe's guidance is like that rain, abundant and ready to quench our spiritual thirst. All we need to do is reach out, open up, and let the divine guidance fill us, nourish us, and empower us. The universe also helps us to reclaim our dreams and visions, serving as a source of divine enlightenment. During a spiritual attack, we often lose sight of our dreams, our visions get clouded, and we feel disconnected from our purpose. But remember, these dreams and visions are not lost. They are merely hidden in the chaos of the attack. With the universe's guidance, we can reclaim them. We can restore our dreams, realign our visions, and reconnect with our purpose. It's like navigating through a dark tunnel, with a ray of light guiding us, leading us towards the exit. That's what our dreams and visions are, rays of light, guiding us towards our spiritual evolution. Most importantly, we need to remember that freedom and restoration are possible. Yes, spiritual attacks are challenging, they test our strength, they push us to the brink. 
but they don't define us. We are not victims, we are warriors. And as warriors, we can break free from these attacks, we can restore our spiritual vitality, we can reclaim our freedom. The journey to overcoming spiritual attacks is not an easy one. There will be struggles, there will be setbacks. But with each step, with each challenge, we grow stronger, braver, and more resilient. We learn to tap into our inner strength, to seek divine intervention, to reclaim our dreams, and to remember that freedom is always within our reach. With this, we have come to the end of our discussion on spiritual attacks. Remember, the universe is always with you, guiding you, protecting you, and empowering you to overcome any spiritual challenges that come your way. You are not alone in this journey. You are a warrior of the universe, capable of overcoming any spiritual attack. Thank you for watching this video. If you found this content helpful, do like, share, and subscribe to our channel for more enlightening content. Remember, every step you take on your spiritual journey matters. You are stronger than any spiritual attack, and the universe is always with you, guiding you towards your spiritual evolution. Stay strong, stay blessed, and keep shining your divine light on the world.